Once retired, my wife insisted that I accompany her on her trips to Target. Unfortunately, like most men, I found shopping boring and preferred getting in and out. Equally unfortunate, my wife is like most women and loves to browse. Yesterday, my dear wife received the following letter from the local Target. Dear Mrs. Harris, over the past six months, your husband has caused quite a commotion in our store. Consequently, you and your husband are banned from our store because we cannot tolerate this behaviour. Our complaints against your husband, Mr. Harris, are listed below and are documented by our video surveillance cameras. June 15th, he took 24 boxes of condoms and randomly put them in other people's carts when they weren't looking. July the 2nd, set all the alarm clocks in housewares to go off at five minute intervals. July the 7th, he made a trail of tomato juice on the floor leading to the women's restroom. July the 19th, walked up to an employee and told her in an official voice, code three in housewares, get on it right away, which caused the employee to leave her assigned station and receive a reprimand from her supervisor, resulting in a union grievance causing in management to lose time and costing the company money. August the 4th, went to the service desk and tried to put a bag of M&Ms on lay-by. August the 14th, moved the caution wet floor sign to a carpeted area. August the 15th, set up a tent in the camping department and told the children shoppers they could come in if they would bring pillows and blankets from the bedding department, to which 20 children obliged. August the 23rd, When a clerk asked if they could help him, he began crying and screamed, Why can't you people just leave me alone? Causing them to call the EMTs. September the 4th. He looked right into the security camera and used it as a mirror while he picked his nose. September the 10th. While handling guns in the hunting department, he asked the clerk where the antidepressants were. October the 3rd, darted around the store suspiciously while loudly humming the Mission Impossible theme. October the 18th, hid in a clothing rack and when people browsed through, yelled, Pick me! Pick me! October the 21st, when an announcement came over the loudspeaker, he assumed the fetal position and screamed, Oh no! It's those voices again! October the 22nd, took a box of condoms to the checkout clerk and asked, where is the fitting room? And last but not least, October the 23rd, went into a fitting room, shut the door, waited a while, and then yelled very loudly, hey, there's no toilet paper in here. 